So before we start the video, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. There may be a little bit of yelling in this video as it is uh, as of 10 o'clock uh, in the morning for me. And I just woke up. I haven't had my coffee yet. So there may be a little bit of yelling or, uh, or something. <laughs> so just a quick little disclaimer. Other than that, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to another Draft League video. This is the UPBA Season 3, Week 2, and I'm your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, and today we are fighting Akikuro, Lu uh, Akikuro Luki of the Charming Sylveons, and I'm going to be perfectly honest, I'm, uh, I'm a little, well, I'm going to be spooked for every video, but... Just for some reason, this video in, or just this battle in particular, I'm just like, if I win this, I still have a chance. After our devastating loss last week, uh, <laughs> so um, as always, uh, the team that I'm going to be using this week will be in, in the Pokey Paste link in the description down below this video, as well as to Aki Kuro's uh, YouTube channel as well. So be sure to check him out, um, unless, well, unless you don't mind, uh, German content, because he is, um, he is German, so hopefully you can under <laughs> so hopefully you understand German, um, so anyway, with that said, let's get, uh, let's very, very quickly go over the team. I have brought... Clad the Swampert holding the Choice Band with Earthquake, Waterfall, Rock Slide, and Outrage. Uh, next is Robin the Thunderous holding the Life Orb with Nasty Plot, HP, Ice, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast. Uh, next is uh, Scottsburn, our Mill Tank with Tox uh, holding Leftovers with Toxic, Earthquake, Milk Drake, and Stealth Rocks. Uh, next is Flubber, our Gudra holding the Assault Vest with Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Earthquake. Uh, there's a reason why I got Earthquake on him, because he has Blacephalon, and I'm pretty sure he's going to bring that with him. Uh, next is Buzz Buzz, our Scizor, hold, uh, our Mega Scizor, holding the Scizorite, of course, with Sword Stance, U-Turn, Bullet Punch, and Knockoff. And last but not least, we got Gone Bananas, our Primate, holding the Choice Band with Close Combat, Rock Slide, Fire Punch, and U-Turn. But if you guys want to see the EVs and everything, like I said, click the Poke Pace link in the description down below this video. And if you guys have any suggestions, um, yeah, suggestions or any tips and tricks that may, that should have helped me that I, that I missed, please let me know in the comment section down below. And, um... Yeah, because your support is greatly appreciated. And if you guys are excited that Draft League Battles are back on the channel, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel because you guys know that your support is greatly appreciated. Okay, got that done. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and challenge Lukey and I will see you guys when we uh, get the battle uh, get the battle underway. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And here we are at the battle. Okay. So let me turn down my volume, just in my actual computer volume down a bit. All right. So. Gyarados, I definitely expected. Lacephalon, I knew he was going to bring... <laughs> Porygon 2, I knew he was going to bring. Mega Blastoise, Cobalion, and Tizarina. I had a slight inkling he would have brought Tizarina. Slight. And same thing with Cobalion 2. Mega Blastoise shouldn't be an issue. Especially when it comes to... Um, if it comes down to Gudra, and unless he has Ice Beam, I should be fine. Now... If he starts with Blacephalon, I should start with, um, no, he did bring Tizarina, so he does have a Rapid Spin user. Rapid Spin or uh, Defog, one of it. He's able to get rid of them. So, 
I want to say I want to start with Mill Tank. Here's a Cobalion. Shit. Okay. Well, oh no. Why is this not working? Why is my calculator not working? Oh, that's why. Mill Tank. Cobalion, I was not expecting. If he close combats. Now, I could Earthquake straight up, or I could get my Stealth Rocks up. Um, hmm. Let's get Stealth Rocks up, see what he does. He does Stealth Rocks on my side too, okay. Um, What's he gonna do? I could Earthquake. If I send out Primate, which is probably not a good idea, definitely not a good idea. Unless he's sending himself up. Um, let me see, Cobalion. Because he's part Steel, is he completely immune to poison? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't want to show Earthquake off. Um, what could he do? There's no Gudra, see what he does. Iron Head! Okay. Um, if he close combats me here. I have that innate feeling he might. No, I'm gonna switch back out to middle tank. Ooh. Okay. So middle tank is probably done though. Yeah, middle tank is done so. Okay, um, I don't want to, I definitely don't want to send out Thunderous, although I might have to. Alright, send them out. Close combat, 34 to 40. Wait, he used close combat, so he has a defense drop. I'm better off just using um, Thunderbolt. And there he shows his ugly mug. There's the Porygon. Now, right now would be a perfect time for me to set up a nasty plot. Wait. Yes. I could definitely focus blast right now. Of course I friggin' miss. Of course I would miss. 
Um, what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna try attack again. There we go. Porygon's down. Oh my blessed Jesus. Uh, okay. Here's the Blacephalon. Now, I need... I didn't bring... Oh, shit. Um... Let's say for argument's sake, he brought max speed. If he brought max speed, I'm still... If he's also specially defensive. What could he do? From the looks of it, Thunderbolt will kill. He's faster? Bring out clad. Um, Swamper. Earthquake will definitely do it, but if that's the case, he might switch out into Gyarados. Rock Slide? And from this range, it should kill. Even if he has... If he's stuck in the Shadow Ball, it's still only going to do 36 to 43%. And he got this... And he got the... Special Attack Boost, too. That's going to do 54 to 64. Okay. If he brings out... If it brings out Tiz Arena, that truck kick's going to kill. Um, but I got Sap Zipper. Um, if he brings out... If he brings out Gyarados Rock Slide, he's going to do a hefty amount. If he brings out Blastoise, still not overly bad. Uh, Cobalion, on the other hand, here's the Blast or Blastoise. What does Blastoise have? What? I definitely oop, definitely wasn't expecting the Blastoise to come out. Um Okay. 
do it again, I guess? What's he planning to do with that? Is he trying? What is he trying to do? Why would he switch out into Blastoise on Swampert? Are you serious? Well, this next one's gonna kill. Um... If I send out Gudra, he has Scald. I haven't seen anything else. Oh. Oh. Is he gonna try for sleep talk again? No, so it's just right out to Gabalion. That's fine. Um He's definitely faster. At 33%, oh my god, at 33%, there is no way I'm staying out on this. Uh if I if I send out Scizor. If I send out Scizor... Nah, it's definitely not a good idea. If I send Swampert back out... This is not a, this is not good. If I keep Gudra in, Iron Head will kill. Close combat will kill. There's nothing I can do. If I send out Primate. I just got I have to hope he no. That's not gonna work either. Uh oh. Send Swampert back out and hope he goes with Iron Head and not close combat. There's close combat. All right. Now, hmm. like a fire punch, and from this range, it should kill. No. 
Okay. Uh, here's the Blacephalon again. Now, if I remember correctly... Blacephalon has a 107 speed. He's gonna be faster. What if he uses his Z move? There was an instance where I should have been faster. So he's probably scarfed. Um, uh, I didn't know he could get side shock. And of course he gets the. Oh no, that's a beast boost. Never mind. Are you kidding me? I would have to bullet punch. Can bullet punch kill from this range? Because I swear, if bullet punch can kill from this range, that'd be hilarious. Please let bullet punch kill from this range. Please. Oh, you no! 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 I wanted to kill the Placephalon! Okay. Alright. He went to Tizzarina. Um. Don't know what she could do, so I'm gonna Swords Dance. And I can U-turn. What are you trying to do? You're just gonna drop kick me into oblivion. Is that what you're trying to do? There's a rapid spin. Now I got two boosts, boy. Um. He probably thinks that I'm using U-turn again. Knockoff. Oh. Okay. From this range, Bullet Punch can't kill. Yes! Okay. And here comes this son bit son bitch again. Um I use knocked off. She's probably gonna. He's probably gonna use drop kick again. Yeah. Trying to lower my attack. There it is. Here comes Gyarados. Uh. For Gyarados, I should probably knock off. See what he does. Because if he. There's a D dance. Uh oh. Okay. Uh... I think that's game. If he uses Waterfall. Waterfall, I'm done.
Unless I get lucky and get a sword stance off. There's a waterfall. Done. Done. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was I knew I was gonna have a hard time with that fight anyway, but what I want to know is why he sent out Blastoise when he did against Swampert. I don't, I, I really don't know, but I don't know. Well, that's been the battle. Good luck to, good game to Akikura Luki and, um, yeah, so let's come back for next week's battle. I believe we are fighting Claduva next week. So, uh, so be sure to be, be sure to come for my ass kicking there because that's going to be fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button like you, oh my God, excuse me, like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you in the next video.